Hey everybody, welcome to the decks. Every week we eat trivia and we strategy and I'm Polka Kells. And I'm Steel Spirit Alex. Every week on the... Hey! What? Come on bro! We can't let the people down, we got a show to do just because X and Y came out, you can't be naughty off. I haven't slept for three days. Besides, how do I get excited about Gen 2 when there's like... Kalos? <sighs> Look, we'll get to Kalos eventually, but until the metagame settles, we can't really do reliable strategy. Besides, don't you want to hear about a freaking terrifying bird from Gen 2? Gosh darn it, you're right. Pokemon rules! Let's do this. It's Skarmory! Yeah! <laughs> Skarmory's known as the armor bird Pokemon, but would it totally blow your mind if we told you that he doesn't actually have metal skin? That's right! Mama Skarmory's are known to make their nests in pokey thorn bushes. It protects them and their chicks from predators, but the harsh elements and constant scraping causes them to develop calluses as hard as iron. Gross, but tough. Yeah, and that's not all. Skarmory's wings may be hollow, but they're naturally as sharp as swords. In fact, some ancient cultures in the Pokemon world are actually known to use its feathers to make weapons. Sometimes their wings get so banged up that they have to shed them and completely regrow them. It's totally worth it though, because they can use those wings to fly at speeds of over 180 miles per hour. That's pretty darn fast. Skarmory's name is a mix of the words Sky and Armory, cause duh, but it can also be a play on Scar in reference to his super hard, jacked up skin. Huh. I wonder how many Pokemon have names like that that are double puns. Skarmory most resembles the real world Harpy Eagle, but unlike most birds, Skarmory has teeth instead of a beak. And instead of a normal shaped head, he's got some sort of Pteranodon slash Pickle Helm thing going on. He looks kind of evil, doesn't he? Funny you should say that. Actually, Skarmory holds the records for most kidnapping attempts in the Pokemon anime and games outside of Meowth and Team Rocket. It wasn't always the same Skarmory, but it happened six times. It's probably a species trait. Speaking of the games, Skarmory has the same base stat total as Mantine. Both are dual type flying Pokemon, but Mantine favors special attack while Skarmory is all physical. Makes sense that they were exclusive to opposite versions in Gen 2. Wait, Skarmory is Gen 2? Why did I think it was Gen 3? Am I crazy? Yeah. Apparently that's a pretty common misconception actually. It may be because Skarmory was only available on one route in one version of the game and had only a 5% encounter rate. Okay, well, whatever. That's neither here nor there now, because now it's time for one of our tried and true ridiculous segments. It's time for some Pokemon, team. Yeah! So remember how Skarmory looks a little bit like the Harpy Eagle? Well, a Harpy is a vicious and horrifying mythological creature that lives in harsh landscapes and preys on people. Sounds pretty right on, but it's only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to folklore that Skarmory might be based on. Yeah, and what about the Gigana? It's a Russian creature with an iron beak and copper talons that guards a river along with a magical snake. There's a little Skarmory in there, right? Yeah, or the Alicanto, a Chilean bird that has metallic wings and eats precious metals. It leads people to their death and takes their gold. Kind of sounds a little bit like Skarmory. And let's not forget about the Greek Stymphalian birds. They were man-eaters with bronze beaks and iron feathers, and they were nasty. They were Ares' pets. He's the god of war. No, the real yeah. god of war. The Stymphalian birds also had toxic poop, which might be why Skarmory can learn toxic. Ironically, these birds were ultimately defeated by Heracles' poison arrows, which probably wouldn't work on Skarmory. He's a steel type. Anyway, this has been Folkmon. Hope you enjoyed it. Yay! Hey, did you ever notice that Skarmory's tail kind of looks a lot like Absol's? Huh. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. It's got a little notch missing from it, though. Yeah. Hm. Do you ever feel like sometimes there's like a little notch out of your life missing? Like there's memories and stuff that are like there, but you just can't access them? What? Yeah. Nothing! Rambling! Ha! Anyway, how about for some Gen 5 battle strategy? Aw oh, yeah! Fire it up! Pokemon! Skarmory's been in the OU tier since he was first introduced and with good reason. He lives to set up spikes. Get an impish one with the ability sturdy and you're well on your way to Skarmory's classic set. Sturdy is an ability where if you have full HP, you can't be knocked out in one hit. It's like Focus Sash, but natural. Give it leftovers to hold for an extra health boost. You've got to EV train your Skarmory in HP and defense so that he can take hits while setting up spikes, and then whirlwind his way through your opponent's team. Spikes are an annoying entry hazard and makes it much worse for your opponent to switch Pokemon in and out of battle. When they're freaking out, it's time to hit him with Brave Bird, a powerful stab move. Finally, kick the edge off with Roost, which will help you outlast tougher foes. Couple that with your already hefty bulk, and Skarmory can be one tough customer. Of course, that's not the only way to train a Skarmory, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. If you're worried about getting trapped and wrecked by a Magnezone with Magnet Pull, give Skarmory his Shed Shell instead of Leftovers and worry no more. If attacking
think it's just not your thing, or you want to stop certain Pokemon from setting up, use Taunt instead of Brave Bird. Take that, Wobbuffet! The Cut Stat Berry is another hold item option. It lets Skarmory go first if his HP is below 25%, which can make him much more useful for setting up entry hazards later in the game. And finally, never forget about Toxic. Skarmory is a decent staller, and Toxic's the perfect stalling move. And that's it! Skarmory, the scab covered half bird. What's the word for gross but cool? Grossum? Narcore? I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, if you want to know what we have planned for Gen 6, go ahead and check out our update video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm PokeKill. And I'm Steel Spirit Alex. Tune in next week for an even stinkier episode of The, the Dex. Dex. Ironically, these birds were ultimately defeated by her. Hercules! Hercules! Put that away.